we also want to take a little bit of a look on um, what pneumonia looks like, so to speak, in the body because uh, we, we know it's a debilitating condition. We don't want someone to get it. Um, and I understand we actually have an image of kind of what the lungs look like. And Dr. Brewster, I believe you'll be able to kind of help us out a little bit about what we are actually looking at here on this screen. Okay, so we're looking at the lungs, our two lungs, the um, right and left lung, and then you have the main bronchus coming down, which is the open part with the red, uh, that, and blood flows uh, going into the different um, branches of the lungs, um, and then the very ends, those little tips are little air sacs, okay. and uh, that's where, unfortunately, the pneumonia uh, infection occurs. Um, they're called little alveolar sacs, and the pus, and mucus, and all the mm. inflammatory markers, um, uh, cells uh, accumulate there, thereby infecting the lungs. So you know our lungs, we breathe in oxygen. Right. And when you have infection there, um, the, the alveolar sacs be, become accumulated with the infection, so it's difficult for um, blood flow to receive the oxygen that we get from our lungs. Okay, and again, in. right, and we can see here in this image, we have another, uh, I think a nice closer look, if yes. you will, on the alveoli and what's happening. So I'm not sure so, which of you wants to uh, kind of explain what's happening there. So these are the alveoli, as Michelle was mentioning, these are the air sacs. This is where air <coughs> comes in and gets exchanged and <coughs> comes into our bloodstream. This, these, when there's an infection, unfortunately, there's inflammation in the bronchioles, uh, and then air could not get in there, but not only that, there's fluid accumulation because there's bacteria. So when you're looking on the left, this is what a normal alveoli would look like. Air cells will get in and into our bloodstream and help aerate our bodies. You're looking at on the right, that's when a pneumonia sets in and that's exactly what it will happen. There's over 100,000 of those in our lungs.